Hello everyone, this is Tanya with Resonate BR and I'm here to show you a quick, super simple, easy jar making uh, video on how to use just plain glitter. Um, I'm using Countercultures Kitty and just a little touch of blue bonnet into this. So we're going to use about a half an ounce of glitter and just a couple drops of Midnight Blue Dispersion Pigment into one ounce of resin. And the rest of it's gonna be mostly clear with just a little bit of um, glitter and pigment, that's it. Uh, these uh, particular jars take about five to six ounces of resin, so I have already pre-mixed uh, on my resin right here. Um, I keep on spritzing it just a little bit. This is medium viscosity. Uh, with a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to help pop the bubbles. I don't like using a uh, heat gun, especially with these molds. It would not work out all that good. So I'm going to add in just a little bit of resin to my glitter mixture. That's only like about an ounce to an ounce and a half. May not use all of that. And this I'm going to use about, again, ounce to an ounce and a half. And then the rest is going to be clear. So we mix up the glitter. Look how pretty that is. I like the mix of these two. It's really going to be really, really pretty. And I want it to be thick. And the dispersion. Let's uh, open this nice new one. Okay. One drop. Or one big drop. I might add just one more drop more. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one more drop more. Okay, one more drop. Without the air bubble, please. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. I actually was expecting it to be a little bit darker, so you know what? I'm going to add in one more. Or two. Yeah, that's mostly air bubbles. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's going to be pretty mixed. I think that's going to be gorgeous. Alrighty. So now, I'm going to kind of scooch this down here a little bit. I'm trying to get this set okay now first things first is we're gonna do the glitter mixture in this one's super simple so I pour the glitter mixture in on top of that centerpiece and I'm gonna let it go around the centerpiece just like it's coating it and then I'm gonna wait I actually have just a little bit left over in that I might put that in like a crystal or something look at that color and also, I could probably do a little bit in the lid as well. Okay, super simple. See how I'm just, I'm letting it go. This part here is going to fill up this, uh, the bottom of the bulb. And actually, I could use a touch more. I see a little spot here. It did not go down in. There we go. Perfect. Now, pull you up again, because I need to pour. I'm going to pour in the clear. And yes, I'm going right over the center section. I'm going to go fill it almost all the way up to the very bottom of that center section. And that's it. Letting it be. Now for the color. And that's it. The great thing about the dispersions, the dispersions are going to kind of come down and they're going to swirl around and do their own thing. And that's kind of what I want. I want it to be kind of wispy. And it's going to do its own thing. You just got to let it be. You don't have to do much of anything to it. It's The bubbles are going to come up on their own, so I'm going to keep on spritzing. I'm also going to do about the same thing here in the top. So this one, though, I'm going to push here to the sides. Oh, 
Then we will kind of fill in here when I pour in the um, the clear. And yes, I wanted it to be kind of thick like a paste. That way I can manipulate it a lot more easy, easier than just having it too liquidy. Okay. And I have just enough clear left over, which is perfect. Pour the clear in, let it take the glitter over to the sides. And then pour the dispersion right here in the top. And let that do it. And that is all I need to do. It is a very, very simple thing, and I will uh, take a demolding video of this tomorrow, and we shall see how it all turns out. So thank you all for joining me, and I hope uh, everything turns out good, and uh, we have a really cool result uh, tomorrow. So see you then. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Here is the demolding of this really simple jar that we have here. And by the way, jars do take quite a bit of, um, oh, how do I say this, um, oomph to get out. But the mold is very, very flexible, so it comes out fairly good. Awesome as that. And again, this was with kitty glitter and also a little touch of blue bonnet with midnight blue dispersion. lightly set this on there. I'm not going to put them on there too hard because you still need them to let them cure. It's only been uh, a little over 12 hours, so I'm trying to be gentle. <laughs> but that turned out pretty neat. Thank y'all for joining me. I really, really appreciate it.